So what sort of pictures are we going to be taking today? Well, today we're going to be photographing children and we're going to be photographing a small child and some slightly older children because the way you deal with different children depends on their age group. I like to be able to show people how they can take pictures absolutely anywhere. So if you haven't got a castle in the background, you haven't got a beach, you know, you need to be able to just use something that's on your doorstep and just use it as shapes and textures and colour and create some amazing pictures. <laughs> He's still a little bit unsure of me at the moment. Sure. That's why I'm keeping back the whole time and why I'm letting him be there with his mum. I'm not expecting to get big smiles out of him right now. Yeah. But we're just sort of, you see how we've given him something to do? Yeah. So now he's just looking natural. Okay. So you can now zoom in and take little areas of him looking very natural. Don't try and get him smiling at you. Right. Because it will just get fed up. Because we've chosen these bright blue clothes, yeah. that's going to look really good against that colour. Because if you think about the backgrounds that go behind the clothes, yeah. it'll make your picture look even better. Are you good to get him? Yeah, that was lovely. Gorgeous shot. Hello, Archie. Now we've got him. <laughs> So um, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to compose so we've got the tree in the background, yeah. then we've got the grass underneath and we've got Archie in the middle somewhere okay. and he can go to the different yeah. sides of the shots. So what I'm trying to do is get lots of different variety of shots within the same framework. It's really important as well that you, have, you use a zoom lens for portraits of little children because if I go right into the child, yeah. I'm far too close on top of him and he'll be too nervous and he'll run away or won't want me to, he'll, uh, I'll frighten him. Okay. So I need to stand further back be able to zoom into him right. so that he doesn't really know I'm oh, taking the picture. <laughs> Right, we've got older children now, so I want to do something a little bit more funky with them. Um, containers like this, wagon containers, look amazing. The textures of the metal in this, it's a fantastic background for a photo shoot. But one of our problems we've got is the bright sunlight. Okay. okay. Now, traditionally, people think that, you know, you've got to stand somebody in the sun to get a good picture. And you can see me now, I'm squinting really badly in the sun, and a child is going to be even worse. They can't smile because they're like this the whole time. So we need to actually get them in the shade. Now, the sun may go in and out on a day like this, so we might wait for that opportunity. But because the container's fantastic, we, we're going to have to play it by ear. On this side of the container, we've actually got shadow. Ah, OK. Yeah. So when we put somebody in that shadow, the light is going to work much, much better. Right. Even though that side isn't as attractive as that side, we're going to have to go with the light. So I've got her with her arms folded and him with his arms in yeah. to make it look a bit different. And the way they're leaning together like that looks really good. And I need to keep their heads closer together so that they're both in focus. OK, and say smelly socks. What I'm trying to do here is we've got a lovely scene in the background with trees and we've got them at the front, hopefully a bit of sheep will be in the background and I just want them to be doing something more animated. Now, never in a month of Sundays if we wait here, they're not going to do it, so we've got to make them do it. Okay, so I want to get them to hold hands together. Can you just hold hands together again? You might have to bribe them to do this, but <laughs> it'll make a good shot because standing like that would be boring, but if you get them running towards us and laughing and keep our shot quite wide, later on we might be able to crop it down a bit and we're hoping to get a few good shots out of a lot of shots here you're not going to get it right every time okay. with this because it's very ad hoc the running towards us we're grabbing shots as much as we can yep. and then we're seeing what happens <laughs> 